Hey guys, Melissa here. Um, I just have a little mini to share with you. It's one that I made for my spot park partner, Vicki, on the scrap beach. Um, today's the 25th, and I'm actually doing this uh, on my way out the door to take it to the uh, post office. Um, I've been finished with it for a few weeks, but I've just not been able to get to the post office. Been a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, um... I used the uh, Prima Moulin Rouge paper um, in the 6x6 six six size. Um, and the album is, let's see, 5x6. And it's an envelope album. Um, I made this flower here using my Olivia Rose technique. And I have a tutorial that, of that um, on my channel if you're interested. And then here's a um, Wild Orchid Crafts uh, white flower that I um, just put some uh, purple Distress Ink on. And this really pretty um, bling trim right here I have going along the binding. And some vintage um, uh, lace right here. The way that it's closed is there's uh, the seam binding that's glued right here and then you wrap it around and it ties on the front. Um, so then that's how you open it. And here's just some uh, bling. Um, here's the first page. And the first page has a uh, envelope inside. And here's what the front looks like. Kind of like a postcard. And the back has some lace. And it's just a spot, a uh, little journaling envelope, and here's the back. So here's the first the inside cover. Um, I have a frame that I put a little uh, um, acetate in for the cover, and then a tag that you can either put the picture on and put it in, or put the picture in and then use this as some a journaling tag behind it. Um, and then I have a, a flower and some lace as the leaves. Um, this page is a lollipop flower that I made and some uh, pearl flourish and then some uh, lace here and it opens up like this. There's just a little magnet under there to uh, keep it closed. And then you have a spot for a photo. Right here there's room for another photo. And then um, a little spot for journaling right here. And then that closes. Um, the next page is just a, a spot for another photo that you tuck a picture underneath this lace. And then I have some Wild Orchid Craft flowers and a love ticket. And then um, this page is a, another photo mat where I um, tore the edges and put lace underneath and then um, put a little uh, button along this this uh, lace right here. And then in here you've got a big tag that I uh, used my postcard stamp on and then on the back I made a little frame with some uh, lace. This page I have another uh, flower that I made and some more lace as leaves. And I used some uh, purple spray on there because she said she liked purple. So um, I've got another pearl um, flourish here. And then this opens like this. And um, I've got a little tag in here. And then this there's a spot for journaling right here. And then this opens, and you've got room for a picture. And then you got a couple tags here that I glimmer misted. Um, actually, it's not glimmer mist, it's a uh, cosmic shimmer that I got from Allison. And these colors are really pretty. So those go in here. And then this is. Um, held closed with another magnet. And then on this page I just have a little envelope with a tag inside. Again using the Cosmic Shimmer. 
and then a little uh, music um, piece uh, ephemera. And then another photo mat using some wild orchid craft flowers and uh, oh no, a little flower got squished. And then um, another tag in this page with the uh, new Tim Holtz stamp and uh, some journaling lines on the back. So I hope uh, Vicki likes the album and I'm sending it to her uh, today. i am got a half an hour before the post office closed, so I gotta go, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you later. Oh, and there's also some goodies on their way to you, too. Okay, bye.